It's an extraordinary sight. Long lines of desperate Venezuelans trying to get rid of their 100 Bolivar bills. The Bolivar is the Venezuelan currency. Some people carry in travel bags stuffed with packs of bills. This is chaos, this man said. If you go to banks, you'll see people bringing in bills in cardboard boxes to exchange them because they're worthless. They're doing it because last Sunday, Venezuelan President Nicolás Maduro ordered the 100 Bolívar bill discontinued. State-run media said it would be replaced with coins of the same value, but the government has yet to distribute them. Now consumers are stuck. Banks no longer accept the bills, but ATMs are still dispensing them because the replacements haven't arrived. This woman says many businesses also no longer accept the 100 Bolivar bill, so consumers like her have to use their credit cards to make purchases. It's just one more blow to the Venezuelan economy, which has been sputtering over the last few years. Inflation is expected to rise an estimated 470 percent this year, according to the International Monetary Fund. Next year, the IMF says it may rise to more than 1,600 percent. The Venezuelan currency lost 55 percent of its value just in November. Venezuelan authorities had announced they would roll out 500 bolivars. Bolivar bills this week. At the highest official exchange rate, 500 Bolivars are worth 75 U.S. cents. All you can buy with a 500 Bolivar bill, this man says, is a piece of bread and you will still be short by 50 Bolivars. Economists say the bottom line is that the Venezuelan economy is in tatters and the government has failed so far to find a solution. This accumulated inflation is very, very aggressive and reflects the monetary policy failure and steps taken to reduce inflation by both the Chavez government and also the current president, Maduro. The government says it will make available bills of much higher denominations, up to 20,000 Bolivars soon. In the meantime, people are left without answers and wondering if their cash is now worthless. Rafael Romo, CNN.